Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 29th. This week, we are going to take a look at your current energies in this first row. Uh, in your second row, we're going to take a look at any messages from your future self. And then in your last row, we're going to look at any advice or messages from your guides. Uh, on top of that, we are going to pull three yes or no questions at the end, and we are going to see, um, I will answer those questions, and I will also answer those questions as if I know what your question is. So let's see here, Taurus, what we have going on for you. Uh, right off the bat, what I would say to you is that this is a very different week compared to everybody else. <laughs> I've done a good majority of the readings already for this week, and you know your, your readings will be coming out early in the week, but I've already done a good majority of them. And everybody else, uh, their readings were very different than this. So you know that could be a good thing, we'll have to see. Uh, in your current general energies here, Taurus, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week as well. But you have the embracing card. I feel that you are just embracing where you are. You have the temperance card here as well. I'm noticing like this bird, here is standing in the water and temperance is also standing in the water and so that is very kind of interesting to me as well this bird is an egret and what i would say here is that's very close to herons like if you know anything about the totem meaning of the heron it can represent being a jack of all traits or um, being very good at certain skills uh, it's also a totem of kind of self-reliance and um, the reason i'm saying this is because the temperance card is a card of self-reliance it is a card of relying on yourself and in relying on the fact that you can easily turn a negative into a positive a positive into a negative whatever you want to do in your life so i feel like you're very kind of in control of your reality this week uh, it is funny that even though you have this very independent energy, your center card is the Three of Cups. Uh, immediately, what I'm getting on this Three of Cups here, Taurus, is that you could, like, I feel like you could speed changes up. I feel like you make things happen significantly faster if you invite other people into a process. So if you're, like, trying to build a business, for example, I'm not suggesting that you need to have a business partner, but maybe hiring someone or even getting someone to do, you know, some little work for you here. This isn't something that has to be expensive. I always tell people, you know, I keep talking about this Capricorn energy, right? And I, I think people don't realize the benefits of Capricorn energy. Uh, right now, we'll have Pluto in Capricorn. It's in the last five degrees of Capricorn, and it will be there for about another year. So we still have a lot of benefits of Capricorn energy. And as I always tell people, it's like you can think much, much smaller with Capricorn energy and get much, much bigger benefits. I think that's something that nobody talks about is the fact that like if you have a business, for example, if you get someone, it doesn't have to cost a lot of money. If you get someone to do something for you, like maybe you need a logo, you could get that done for like five bucks on Fiverr, right? You could get it done for a hundred bucks. But what I'm saying is, is that kind of like doing the little things is gonna have a bigger impact in the future. Now, this is true for love as well, is what I would say to you here, Taurus. This could say that maybe you just need to go out on dates, right? And going out on dates could be like the small thing that you do that leads to a much bigger impact. So that's what I would say there. You have the Temperance card, the Eight of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles here. Very independent energy. For some of you, I do feel like you could be feeling lonely with that Eight of Cups energy there. Uh, Eight of Cups is kind of like feeling like you have to walk a path alone. The Really, you don't because you have the Three of Cups right next to it here. You do have the Nine of Pentacles, which kind of says you can handle it on your own as well. She has more than enough energy over here she has these six pentacles over here and she has three pentacles over here. It kind of says like she has more than enough energy for herself, but she also has enough to give. So I do feel like you can do things on your own, but I really feel this is like talking about controlling your emotions because of the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is like an emotional whirlpool. It's a good card to me because you're walking towards the Nine of Cups, Taurus. But it does say, like, don't get sucked down into challenging or negative emotions here. And with the Temperance card, it's like I feel that it's more talking, you know, Temperance is alchemy, and it's about turning one thing into another here with this card. So I feel for some of you, uh, maintaining a positive state at this time is going to be very important for you with the Temperance card. I'm also getting the words new Sagittarius popping into my head very loudly. <laughs> So for some of you, there could be new love coming in. 
and I feel like it's a new Sagittarius, very, very clearly uh, coming in for you. You've been getting fire off and on. You ha always have this Pisces here uh, showing up in your reading, so it could be a Pisces as well, but take it how it resonates here, Taurus. Let's see where this is going uh, as far as making a change is concerned. Page of Pentacles, new opportunity coming in for you. Like I said, new Sagittarius popped into my head. So if you're looking for love, could be a Sagittarius, could be any sign, could be someone with Sagittarius in their chart, but I feel like it's a new person coming in for you. Queen of Cups here. Queen of Cups is about nurturing your emotions. Like I said, I feel that this Temperance card is saying that your emotions will really be kind of shaping your reality at this time. And you have these Six of Swords here, improvements coming in for you. I feel like you're like in bringing things into balance quite simply. It's like, you know, the Three of Cups is a card of teamwork and working with other people. But this could be saying that you have brought things into balance now. And now you can uh, better work with new people. It's like there are, I feel like there are better opportunities for you now because you have brought yourself into balance with this Nine of Pentacles. I do get like a major work by Pierre. So for the most part, I feel like this part of the reading is more talking about work or business, you know, generally. For I also do feel it is very general, <laughs> all this right here, because I feel like it is talking about healing. You have the Temperance card, Six of Swords, Queen of Cups. It's a very like kind, caring, nurturing, healing type of energy. So some of you this week could just be going through a healing. Uh, in your next row from messages from your future self, you have this Imagine card. This card says, if you can dream it, you can have it. I literally feel your future self is saying, it, you know, take whatever you want and multiply it by 10. I feel like I said this to you in one of your recent readings as well. There's a girl here and she has a, a kind of like a rope tied around the moon here. It's probably going to be very hard to see on this camera because it is very light, but she's bringing the moon down to earth. So I feel for a lot of you, this is, uh, the, and here's the interesting thing is the fact that you have the sun right here. So this card basically says, if you can dream it, you can have it. And and you, the other interesting thing is, is that you have the High Priestess right here. So you have the High Priestess, the Three of Cups, and the Sun. The High Priestess is a card that says dream big. She has no roof over her head on this card. And it represents the fact that she can have whatever she wants. If she, and It's a card of needing to dream big, the High Priestess. It is a card of needing to take action. So I do feel that you have probably like a lot of good ideas at this time. But I feel that taking action could be um, part of the challenge for you here, Taurus. The Three of Cups is kind of like your answer. It says maybe there are people in your life who are good at taking action. Maybe you have like a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, something, you know, that is good at putting ideas into action. This could say that teaming up with that person uh, could be very beneficial. So I do get that for you here with the Three of Cups. But the High Priestess really just says dream big is what I feel like it's saying to you. Uh, this will lead to a, ce a celebration with the Three of Cups. And the Sun, this will lead to more freedom. And not only that, the sun is a combination of the moon and the sun energy. It has these straight lines and then it has these like squiggly rays coming off of it as well. It represents a combination of the sun and the moon. So literally I'm taking this as she is bringing the moon down to earth on this card. She's bringing her imagination, an idea, something that she is imagining. She is bringing it down to me. The sun would say that you have grounded the idea. You have brought the, you have gone through the moon period with the sun and now you are grounding an idea in reality. So I really like this energy for you, Taurus. I feel like you're kind of grounding something here. It doesn't really surprise me. Again, uh, every single one of your readings I've noticed, it's like, look, she has this red robe on. This here is like a naked child. And here's the red robe right here. It's like every single one of your readings, I've noticed that there's always like a, the emperor and then you get the sun, right? Which represents freedom and celebrations. So I feel like you are very much kind of, you know, becoming more uninhibited. This makes perfect sense with Uranus in Taurus in your own sign. Uh, I feel that's probably why a lot of you are very focused on, you know, gaining more freedom, uh, whatever that means for you. But uh, let's clarify this here, Taurus, and let's see where this is going. I definitely feel that your future self is saying, like, you can live your wildest dreams here. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords here. Yeah, we're going to talk about this uh, mostly because of this Page of Swords energy. So we'll talk more about that. Hangman, hey, definitely Pisces every single time I do a reading for you. And the Two of Wands here. Uh, in a lot of ways, the Hangman, hey, I feel, is saying 
Number one, this could be a Pisces and it could not be love. You know, there might be a Pisces in your life. Pisces are the dreamers, right? There might be a Pisces in your life who can help you. You know, maybe you have a child that's a Pisces or maybe you know someone that's a Pisces. They can help you bring this idea down to earth. Pisces is the sign of crazy ideas, right? You know, people always say Aquarius, for example, are the innovators, right? But um, really, it's uh, really Pisces. I mean, some of, you know, most Pisces, like uh, Steve Jobs was a Pisces, for example. Um, you know, a lot of the Pisces are the ones that are good at taking ideas and bringing them down to earth, making something crazy a reality. So I feel for some of you, this could be some, like that type of energy. It could also just be saying that we're in Neptune and Pisces right now. So it's like that dreamy energy that we get from Neptune and Pisces could be the thing that is allowing you to live one of your wildest dreams here, Taurus. Really nice reading. Uh, I feel that the three of cups with the hangman is saying, saying that other people will help you gain a new perspective. Hangman plus the sun is major enlightenment. It is kind of waking up to how to do something. It is you understanding how to take the lead on something here. Two wands, a card of leadership. So for a lot of you, it's like, it, this is one of those things where again, um, maybe you have an idea to do something like start a business or move or travel and you're not quite sure how you're gonna do it. This could be other people helping you see another way. It could be other people helping you to say, you know, like, hey, maybe in, in your current circumstances, something you wanna do seems hard, seems impossible, but really it's not. So I feel that this could kind of represent doing your research with the Page of Swords. Page of Swords is kind of like detective work. It's like digging into something, getting going deeper on something as well. So I feel like you need to be curious at this time. Uh, this is going to lead to a lot of momentum with the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is like the card of momentum. Uh, to me, it is also the card of a daily routine change, which is popping into my head here, Taurus. Um, so I, I, like, I feel like if you have some ideas or a dream, some dream that you're trying to accomplish, you know, this is probably going to lead to a daily routine change. Obviously, you know, if you're starting a business or if you're starting a new career, or maybe you're looking for love as well, uh, you know, that could lead to some sort of routine change in your life. Uh, but uh, I like where this is going here, Taurus. Uh, next, for any messages from your guides, you have the parrot card. It says, watch your words. This card says, keep it positive, right? I feel like especially if you're trying to manifest things here into your life, you need to keep it positive at this time with this energy. I would be very careful of the words that you're using as well. You have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like the more you believe that something is possible, the more possible it will be. Seven of Wands kind of comes up a lot lately and uh, for everybody. And the Seven of Wands, a card of conviction, it basically says if you believe something deep enough, you will make it happen. <laughs> so I feel like for some of you, the more sure of yourself that you are, that something is gonna work out in your life, the more likely it is going to be that it will work out. I also feel that you're kind of going to be receiving some sort of offer here and I feel like your guides want you to know that. Uh, the, the thing that I would say to you here is, it's like you've been waiting for an offer here. This could be in love or business. Uh, you have the three cups and the hangman here. It's There's this energy of potentially needing to look for an offer is what I would say to you. Like if you're waiting for a career, I don't, it's not gonna just magically appear in your life. If you're looking for love, it's not gonna just magically appear in your life. I feel like you need to like get out there and get it with the Ace of Pentacles. The, the Ace of Pentacles just says the offer is there, but you have to be the one to go and get it with the Ace of Pentacles. Like it's just a hand reaching out. It's not, you know, it's not like chasing after you is what I feel like saying on this card. So I feel like you have to be the one to kind of make something happen here, Taurus. But let's dig into this here, Taurus. And uh, let's see what we have. You have the Ten of Swords. I feel, we'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. And the Three of Pentacles and the Judgment card, love it. So definitely this is you waking up to something here. It's interesting that, again, the I, I'm noticing the red cloak like I was talking about on the Three of Cups and on the Sun. And then there's the red cloak here on the Two Wands. There's a red cloak on the uh, Knight of Swords. And he also has a red cloak on him, kind of covering his body on the Ten of Swords here. For some of you, I'm kind of like taking this to mean that I do feel there is some sort of sacrifice that you will be making or there is something that you will be letting go of to make 
uh, to create this freedom that you could be getting in your life. Uh, even the two of wands is a card of leaving a comfort zone or you know leaving something that you have known for a very long period of time. So I do feel there is some sort of release happening here with the Ten of Swords. For some of you, I do feel like you could be letting go of a person with the, you know, especially Page of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords. You could be like letting go of a person here. Uh, for others, I feel that you could be letting go of your childhood <laughs> with that Page of Swords. The Page of Swords with the Ten of Swords could say that there are certain childhood dreams. And I do feel, you know, like one of my problems with Neptune and Pisces is that we could be very attached to things from childhood or we could feel like a lot of nostalgia uh, because of childhood. So there could be like a lot of things that we feel very attached to that we feel, especially involving our identity with Neptune and Pisces. So there might be kind of, and it's, and I know this sounds crazy, but it's popping into my head here. Like I feel for some of you, it's almost like you're maybe, uh, you know, having a death in the sense that you're releasing part of your identity or something that you thought made you who you are. Uh, that is very challenging for most people. But I feel like you're kind of reinventing yourself here uh, with this um, with this Imagine card. This is a really powerful reading here, Taurus. I love this. So let's see here. We're going to pull three yes or no question cards for you here, Taurus. Uh, we're going to do one, two, and three. So feel free to pause this video and take your time in thinking about your questions. We're going to do one, two, and three. Uh, for question number one, I'd say yes, definitely. I feel like this is like true love, perfect match. If you're asking about love, I feel like this is true love coming in for you. For others, uh, the lovers to me can say pick the new path. So I would say pick the new path. For question number two, I would say no, the moon. I feel like there's too many things that you're not seeing. I am getting the word red flags popping into my head with this moon card. So I, whatever you're asking about, I'd say no, and I would trust the red flags. Uh, for question number three, I would say yes, uh, King of Swords. I actually feel like you're very clear about whatever it is that you're asking about. And I feel it's like a very direct, straightforward energy as well I'm getting off this card. He is the card of directness, but you know I don't always feel that with the King of Swords, and but I do now. So I feel that this is a very direct, straightforward energy. I feel like it's saying uh, go ex for, straight towards what you want here, Taurus. A pretty simple reading. I feel like most importantly, this reading is asking you to focus on something you've been imagining having in your life or imagining creating in your life as well. Um, and I feel like whatever it is that you've been thinking about creating is going to lead to a lot more freedom. You know, it's kind of funny because it's not like really a love reading. You do have like love here. I feel like there could be new love coming in, but and it could be a new Sagittarius, like I was saying at the beginning. But for the most part, I feel like this is more about your life. So love it uh, here, Taurus. But thank you for being here, Taurus. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, Taurus, and definitely enjoy your week.